How to use a multimeter. Here we go. You have the positive lead and a negative lead. The multimeter shoots out a current and inside the multimeter is a computer with a program. It's programmed to do a little Ohm's law. It's got the current, it, zap, it zaps through, it carries the current out of the positive lead, and gives the negative lead, you know, back and forth if it's a alternating current, one way of direct current. And the wire and the device you're measuring already has resistance in it based on the geometry of the wire and the geometry of the load, I mean, whatever you're, you're, um, you're measuring. So you already have the current output of the device and the resistance. And so it uses Ohm's law, which is um, current equals voltage over resistance. And you can do a little algebra and you know, mathematics and switch those around. And since you have two variables out of the three, you can find the third one, which is the voltage. And that's what displays in the multimeter. The it shows you the voltage if you're measuring for voltage. <laughs> if, it's, if you're measuring for current, it'll show the current. If you're measuring for resistance, it'll show the resistance. It is switches up the those variables like I equals V over R. I being current, V being voltage, and R being resistance. <clears throat> now here I'm showing you how to measure your household current, which is, um, you know, it should be between like I don't know, one, one ten and one, one forty, anywhere between that that range, is pretty much normal, because uh, today's uh, electronics aren't exactly um, that accurate. I mean, it's it's probably based on like the you know the quantum laws and stuff like that, and um, how you it's it's probably really like I don't know complicated if you get really into it, but I mean. Uh, it, it's it's pretty. That's the household current around 120. Um, yep. Just put the positive lead inside one of the holes and put the negative lead in the other hole, and it'll sh show you um, the voltage. If you if you have it it's set the um, multimeter to alternating current, and um, the numbers on the multimeter. If you're measuring something that's underneath okay, uh, we get your voltmeter. the 200 range, you want to do 200. We'll it. If it's over 200, you want to do the 500. Two volts for the multi for the alternating current we'll on the set left to side. 20 volts. Oh, that's it. All right, All right thank you. Get your little panel. Hold the light on. Get more light on it. All right. Well, there's our test leads. The positive. See the back. The positive area and the negative area. All right. Drums are always flying, the lights hitting the solar panels. Alright. Just get the light right. <laughs> Alright, we got the light right on there. And just press this positive against the positive part and the negative on the negative part. And 1.99 volts. Move it closer. Alright. Artificial light works just as good as regular light. 2.02 volts. There we go. And it's set to 20 volts. If you have it set to lesser voltage, 2 volts, and it registers more than that voltage, you'll get. Get it right. <laughs> and gator clips that work easier. Let's do that. You'll get an. Usually it says OL, which is a, a bad read. 1.9A2. Oh. Yep, OL. So I'm put the test leads on there. Touching 2.08, 2.09 volts. Sweet. That's checking your voltage on this little, little solar panel. This little solar panel goes to um, a solar light. 
It consists of the solar panel, about two.